Hello. Now, I'm not a real scientist. That green is the same. I didn't think this through. Clearly, I'm not a real scientist. But anyways, I'm not a real scientist, but we are going to Gummy Candy Lab, okay? Because I am going to make my own gummy candy with this kit. Um, it's a STEM experiment kit, and I have not read the instructions. I don't even know what really is all inside the box or anything, um, but I'm here. I got a lab coat on, and I'm ready to dig in and see what's inside this gummy candy lab. <laughs> All right, so let's break into it and see what's inside. I am just now reading the back of this box and it's saying that I need some other ingredients to make this candy and um, as you can tell, I was not prepped for this at all, but it's okay. It's gonna be a fantastic, fun, swell learning time, isn't it? Okay, so I'm back and I grabbed a couple of the things that it said that we needed. Um, the back of the box says we will need scissors, um, a tablespoon, but I don't have a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna use two spoons of the plastic spoons. I have no idea if that's scientifically correct, but we're gonna figure it out. And a teaspoon, so I thought, okay, if I'm gonna use two scoops of this spoon, then maybe a teaspoon is one of these, but again, I don't know, so we're gonna see, we're gonna, <laughs> um, water, I forgot, water. Um, I need to grab some water, be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I got my cup of water. Um, and then what else do I need? Hello, hello. Oh, a small bowl, so I got this bowl. Um, hello, oh, a spoon, so I got a metal spoon. Um, toothpick or fork, so I got this metal fork. Um, plate, so I got a paper plate. Um, and a refrigerator, my refrigerator is over there. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I got all of the things. Some I made some, you know, some substitutes, okay? So we're gonna see if the substitutes are okay or not. Um, so yeah, let's dive into this box and see what's inside. Okay, so what we have in here are some molds. We have like the plastic molds to make the gummies, as you can see. Um, there's rainbows, clouds, and unicorns. If you can see this, look how cool. So these are what we're gonna make the gummies in. Um, and then there comes little packaging, so you can put the gummies in there if you wanna gift it to family or friends. Um, and then it comes with the instruction manual, oh, sorry, experiment manual. Um, and this is where we're gonna find the recipes or the experiments or the instructions that we're gonna be following. Um, is there anything else in here? Yes, there is some other stuff in here. Um, there are stickers, oh my god, stickies! <sighs> we're gonna put these on the little packaging. And let's see, what is this? Oh, this is the actual, hello, duh. This is the actual little gelatin mold. So we have yellow gummy mix right up in the front and we have, oh, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have five of them in here. And this is what is gonna make the gummies. Okay, so I'm gonna look through here and I'm gonna pick an experiment and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Okay, so the first step is to cut open the white gummy mix packet with scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my little Christmas scissors to cut this open. Just like that. Okay, so then we're gonna measure one level tablespoon of white gummy mix and put it into a small bowl. So like I said, um, Mm, okay, so it smell. It says it's vanilla, and it like really does smell like vanilla. So that's so yummy. Um, so we're gonna use this little spoon, and we're gonna do one, one whole spoonful of this, and we're just gonna say that that's one tablespoon because I have no idea. Um, and then now I have to turn on the hot water faucet and let the water run until it is as hot as it gets. So let's go over to the hot water. So I see a little bit of steam coming out from it, so I'm just gonna grab some of this water. So now it says to take one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of hot water and pour it into the bowl. Um, so because I'm substituting it, I'm just gonna use this spoon. Oh my gosh, hello. Okay, let's see how I do this. 
So I'm gonna do just a big old spoonful like this. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit like that. And then it says to stir the mixture with a spoon until the gummy mix is completely dissolved and the mixture appears smooth. So if you can see, this is what it looks like. And then once it is completely dissolved and mixed in, um, I'm just going to spoon the mixture into the cloud shape molds in the tray. So we're just gonna mix this around. Okay, so I actually wanna make some more because this is a really small batch. So I'm gonna use this big spoon and I'm just going to take a spoonful of this and we're going to pour that into the mixture. And then we're gonna take a spoonful of the water and then just a little bit in there. And then we're gonna continue mixing this up and I'll be back whenever it is completely dissolved. Okay, I'm still mixing, but I just have to say that this literally smells like candy. Like, like it literally smells like a vanilla gummy. Like that is crazy. Okay, so I think this is the mixture that I have so far. I think this is what I'm gonna use. Um, it's a little clumpy, but again, I did not follow the instructions to the T. Um, so when you're doing an actual experiment, you wanna make sure that you're as accurate as possible. But like I said, I'm not a real scientist, so I'm just over here ringing it. Um, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hurry up and spoon this into the molds and I'm gonna see if I can bring you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, it's starting to get clumpy because I waited a little too long, so I'm just gonna hurry up and I'm just gonna spoon it in. So this is what the mold looks like right now. Um, these are the five clouds and these are the three unicorn blobs that I was able to make. Um, yeah, um, and you know what? Actually, I realized that I did something maybe a little off. Um, I mixed it with the spoon, but I feel like that's probably what the fork was for. Um, so that way you could like really whisk it in and make sure that everything was completely dissolved. Um, but besides that, um, I think they'll come out fine. I think they really will come out fine. Even though I did not do everything exactly by the, um, by the instructions. Um, but here is a look at the instructions so you can see what I did and did not do. Okay, so now the next instructions say to put the tray into the refrigerator and let the gummies solidify for five to 10 minutes. After the gummies have solidified, we're gonna remove them from the mold using a toothpick or a fork. Oh wait, that's where the fork is gonna come in. Okay, ignore what I said in the last clip. Um, so yeah, so, but we're not there yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop these into the fridge. Um, hopefully the bubbles and the little, the, yeah, the little bubblies um, aren't gonna create caves or holes in the gummies um but we won't know until we take them out of the fridge so i'll see you in 10 minutes so it's been over 10 minutes because i started editing this video um but um they're out and they look pretty cool um they're pretty hard to the touch so that's very promising um so i'm going to bring y'all in a little bit closer and we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them on this plate and we're gonna taste them okay so i'm gonna use this fork to try to carefully take this out oh oh no is it coming out i can't even tell That was so hard to take out. Okay, here's the reveal. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, it got a little messed up, but you know, whatever. Oh my God, it looks like an egg. Okay, um, I see that this is gonna take some, I'm gonna probably end up covering it, so I'm gonna show you what they all look like at the end. Okay, so this is what they look like. These are the five clouds that 
look like eggs. They really do look like eggs. And these are the three unicorns. This one came out almost perfectly. This one lots of leg. And this one lost two legs, but um, but this one's cute. Look at this one. This one has all its limbs. Um, and yeah, look at my poached eggs. <laughs> now it's time for the taste test. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try um, the very first one that I made. I'm gonna try this little egg cloud looking thing. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's supposed to taste like vanilla, so let's see. Wait, <laughs> okay, the flavor is really sweet. Like it's so sweet and literally, like it tastes like vanilla. It's a vanilla, it's really vanilla-y. It tastes like candy, it's very sweet. Um, but it, the texture is very weird. Like, I don't know if you can see that, if it will focus on it, but it's really like fluffy. Ah, it's gonna fall. Let me see if I can try to focus on it. Um, it's like really fluffy. It's not gonna focus on it. Low. Okay, it's not gonna focus on it, but just trust me, it's really fluffy. And that texture is like kind of weird. So, they taste good, but the texture is like a little bonky. So anyway, I'm gonna go wash my hands really fast and I'm gonna do the outro. them but I got it okay I packaged them I put them in a the little baggie and I put a little sticker on it okay look it looks like the little unicorns are in the clouds okay anyway so guys I have a lab coat now so that means I am an unofficial scientist which means that I am super excited that I'm gonna be starting I'm, I'm so excited I can't even talk I'm gonna start doing science experiments here on this channel I'm gonna do a bunch of steam projects I'm gonna do whatever it is and I'm gonna do it in the most non- So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do them for you guys. So if you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what projects or what kits you want me to do next. And let me know if you've done these before. Did they come out uh, like fluffy or cloudy? No pun intended, but let me know if you've ever tried this before. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you liked this video. Um, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more kinds of videos like this. And don't worry, the quality of the videos will go up, okay? Okay, this is just the beginning, I promise. So, so thank you so much for watching. My name is Gabriella Quinones, and.